who do we have ourselves a show today today's quick but very informative video today we're going to be talking about the new chat gpt5 how i used it to create this very interactive app so to speak i didn't write any code whatsoever you know we have seasonality adjustments just a crazy amount to go over in a very short period of time so let's just dive right into how we got here real quick of course if you're new to me and just wondering who the heck is this guy my name is griffin thomas i actually own a pest control company in the dallas texas area preferred pest management we've been in business about five years now and on my channel overall i just document my entire business journey i'm not one of these like ai gurus or anything like that you'll notice i've been posting a lot of content about ai because there's, there's just been so much revolutionary activity so to speak going on that is affecting every job market and i'm a firm believer as a entrepreneur that if you do not adapt to technology then you are going to get left behind so if you're a home service business owner or any business owner really and you either a want to follow Follow my journey or just be able to simply use this channel to keep up with some of the changes that seem to be happening on a daily to weekly basis with AI and technology overall and business at this point then go ahead and subscribe hit the bell icon you all know the drill but let's go ahead and get right into it so this is all of course all built inside chat GPT and if you want I mean you can stop and you know take screenshots throughout the way if you wish I don't suggest you guys try to like copy my prompts or anything like that matter of fact I what I take and do is I create this is like the first prompt that I put in here and then I'll paste it in three different chat GPT windows I will run them all at once because obviously each one is going to have a slight variation in its outcome and then I start tweaking each one until I find the result that I like the best once I find the result that I like the best I have that GPT tell me hey what prompt should I create or you know can you actually give me the prompt to be able to copy and paste and get this exact outcome in the future without having to go through all the steps that we went through today from there i take that put it in a google doc or create a custom gpt of course but you can see here the prompt it, it looks longer than it is because it's kind of squeezed of course in the sidebar right now but you can see here it thought for a minute and 17 seconds and it went to work on creating the initial startup so to speak of the app it asked me do you have like other things that you want to include in here things that can be changed and i told it you know let's go ahead and clean up the graphs a little bit because all of these bars and the bar chart were black so everything you know the net profit one time recurring all that stuff it was all the same color so it's kind of hard to tell which is which so i told it to clean that up told it to change a couple other things give us a seasonality adjustment and giving us the ability to do like some if then overlays like you know worst case scenario best case scenario so then it went at it again for a little bit and then when i went to load it it wasn't working properly and it did have to actually edit some of its code it said like it found a little bug so i went in there and actually tweaked the code and then come to find out most of the issue was was i just needed to refresh my gpt once i refreshed it this is what popped up so you can see here and i know this can look kind of overwhelming so i'm gonna try to keep it like pretty simple and keep in mind too like i just created this right before making this video for you guys this is not going to be the end product of this thing i'll probably go back and forth with it a little bit more so let me know down in the comments if you want me to do like a follow-up video to this video of like what the final output looked like for this app and if there's anything that's not in this that you think is missing that could make this even better i'm definitely interested to always know in the comments you know what your all's input is but as you can see here it tells us okay you know your expected yearly revenue yearly profit uh if we sell x amount of month book sales and obviously that's going to be the scenario a and i like to just leave this part alone you know you can change it to manual new sales per month i like just leaving this because it allows us to do this whole calculation of okay for having say 80 leads a month or 15 leads a month or however many leads per month that you know you're generating you can you know like we said you can do if then as well you can do what we're currently at and then do another scenario of you know if we are able to increase our lead volume and continue to keep our closing rate or if we increase our closing rate like there's so many little things in here that you can mess with which is what i love so like for us in our pest control business it varies month to month obviously but i went ahead and just put it somewhere around 80 leads per month some months we only get like 40 some months we get upwards of 100 it really just depends so i just put it you know right around like 70 to 80 our closing rate is usually between 40 to 55 percent month to month so i want to kind of bet on the lower end here and then you can see here it even says percentage of new deals that are recurring so like in our industry the pest control industry we have what's considered like recurring income versus like one-time services one-time services would be 
like a liquid termite treatment which of course that could be recurring if you sell them on continuing their warranty but that's not a given that's not something we want to bank on a one-time pest control service a rodent wildlife exclusion service like there's a bunch of things that could be considered one-time services so for this i just put it at 60 percent again we can always do it if then we can you know play we don't even have to do an if then we can sit here and just play around with this in real time and get a real time adjustment let's just take a moment to like appreciate like just how insane this is like if anyone has done like any remote or remotely i should say close to this type of analytical work like creating these type of interactive charts and graphs and things like that you know this stuff usually takes one lots of lots of hours just to learn but two usually many many minutes or many many hours at the minimum to put together and again you guys see here that i only chatted with this thing like two or three times and we got this entire output and what was about three minutes total of me just typing so i just wanted to mention that with like you know because like i said i don't even think this is like perfect by any means so i'm probably going to work with this still a little bit tonight but just where it's at right now it would normally take lots of hours of learning Learning and lots of hours of implementation and fixing stuff yourself but i tried to have everything set up you know relatively close to like what our company is at right now in terms of like average yearly contract value um, average one-time ticket value because like like we said our one-time tickets for the most part tend to be mostly higher ticket you know one to three thousand dollar services but i know we also have some one-time like general pest control services that are like 150 to 300 dollars that can definitely drag that average down so again even though i know the average is probably closer to like 1200 maybe even higher i always like to bet on the smaller end of things monthly churn again you can adjust that and, and that's the beauty of like this too is like this isn't just for home service businesses or pest control businesses this type of setup can be used really for any type of business like you can just go in here like i said if you want you can screenshot i'll try to slow down a little bit you can take a few screenshots here and there of our prompt and you know uh what was it there was another area where i gave us some more information like you know clean this up you can take a screenshot of that if you want and just kind of replace our information in terms of our services what our like metrics are with what's important for yours like obviously e-commerce is going to be super different when compared to like a home service business right but i feel like this would be really good for most business owners not just pest control business owners or home service business owners you're probably of course going to rely on what's called like reoccurring instead a recurring income because obviously with like products you know you're kind of banking on people coming back like coca-cola they plan on people coming back and buying a coke buying a coke buying a coke or a coke product over and over and over but it can apply to services too like you know there's a lot of i'm guessing probably plumbers they rely more on like reoccurring like people needing a plumbing issue you know fix over and over hopefully not too often obviously but you know over and over and over and hopefully they keep coming back and using you so maybe that is something you'd want to put in here instead of like recurring but that's a different topic for a different video but we have our monthly churn set at two percent you know our target fully loaded net profit so what this kind of means essentially is whenever we take all of our expenses every single expense cost to deliver the services marketing costs taxes like all of our costs all in all that this percentage is what our like total down to the penny what you could pay yourself so to speak and then like we said too we even have seasonality multipliers like let's say for example during you know march april may and even june let's say we wanted to go ahead and toggle these on and let's just say that you know in the month of march we want roughly a i was gonna say like a 2x difference but i can't exactly tell that's one thing that you know i will actually as soon as i wrap up this video i will tell it hey let's go ahead and fix this i want to see right down here in the table what our multiplier is because i see the numbers adjusting on here every time i hit an arrow but i do not see you know what our multiplier is so that's again another little kink that was something that literally just got added so totally makes sense there's a little kink there but again it just shows like how powerful this is let's say in january we know we get a lot of exclusion work let's say we went ahead and put a multiplier on that then of course you'd see how the numbers for q1 jumped up immediately and let's say we wanted to be a little bit more quote-unquote greedy in terms of you know oh we're not gonna 
advertise as much or oh we found a better chemical supplier who's going to give us a five percent boost our profit which if you know anything about the pest control business that would mean you're virtually paying like zero for your chemicals so obviously that's not going to happen but let's just say overall we increase this by you know we'll just say three percentage points then when you scroll up you'd see your net profit shot up fifteen thousand dollars a year let's say you know we implemented some new sales strategies maybe implemented some lead magnets some better marketing whatever the case may be and increase our closing rate you know to just under 50 percent then you can see here our yearly net profit went up five thousand dollars our yearly revenue jumped up i think about twenty or thirty thousand dollars speaking of marketing let's say we do increase our marketing efforts and we're somehow able to like double our leads let's say we double it to like you know let's say 143 is what it landed on so let's say nothing else changed you know our percentages somehow managed to still be around 60 percent recurring which in all honesty is probably much higher than that but let's just roll with it for this example here you can see here that jumps up what another 240 roughly thousand dollars and your yearly quote-unquote bring home also jumped up another 50 55 000. so again like this tool to me like it like i said it is not end all be all the whole point of this video was mostly to show you guys just how crazy powerful chat gpt is and chat gpt 5 has just improved everything that much more because of course chat gpt could write code and you had canvas and everything else even with chat gpt 4 and i think even the previous model if i remember right but i will say since chat gpt 5 released this week i have noticed night and day difference in terms of the quality of code and the ability to debug its own code very quickly like i'm not gonna lie you know we were just talking in our previous video about job loss i think there's gonna be a lot of coders that are losing their job but there's a flip side to that coin too because i think the coders that will again capitalize on this opportunity will just increase their output and actually make more money like i said i'm interested to know down in the comments is there anything that you guys would add to this i know one thing that i want to add to it already is like you know a section that shows like what our yearly recurring income added is so that way we can see like a compound effect if that makes sense on this chart because this is just giving us like a one year example i would like to see you know after four years compound pounding five years etc etc so i might even have an update video to this like i said let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do like an update video to this once i have what i think is like a very good version of this and like i said let me know too down in the comments if there's anything that you think i should add to this bad boy as well but as always i hope you guys did find some value in this video if you did do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button and if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and do so and if you haven't seen our latest video about the dangers of ai that a lot of people don't really talk talk about too much i'll make sure to link it in one of these corners somewhere around here go check it out and i'll see you guys over there